Hi guys, it's the 10 a.m. support your local club game, and here we go. So partner open to club, and I have nine points and a spade stopper after the opponent's over called a spade, so I'm going to bid a no trump and see what happens. <coughs> Okay, so here we go. And they let a spade. And the truth is, I'd like to be in my hand to hook a club, and I'm going to play the 10. So, we're going to play the king because we hope they think um, their partner has the queen, but they may not. We can lose a lot of tricks. We could probably lose four hearts in a club. And they're going to have to like shift right now if they want to take their tricks. If they don't take their tricks, I'm going to take... Oh, here we go. Not our best. We have to play low. See what happens. So maybe they can take five hearts. Taking three hearts and one spade and one club. Okay, that's four hearts. Or at least they split. So they're going to take one more trick. And there wasn't anything we could really do about it. We would have made, uh, you know, a bunch of clubs, but... We didn't, so that's okay. And we're going to be down one. And the truth is, um, I'm not sure what they can make. But they can definitely take five hearts, and a spade is six, and a club is seven. So they lose uh, two diamonds and one club and one spade. So they make uh, three hearts. So down one is a pretty good match point score. So here we go again. And partners up and we're non-vulnerable against vulnerable. And I have what looks like a three club bid. So partner opened a diamond. So the truth is, even though we hate it, we don't really have a way to show a weak hand with clubs. So we're going to bid one no trump. We'd really like to be able to bid three clubs, but that doesn't mean anything for us, so I can't. If I get a chance, I'm going to bid a lot of clubs. Um, and hopefully she knows I'm limited because I didn't start with two clubs, so obviously I don't have a two over one hand. So we'll see what happens. So they passed, and partner passed. And they passed. It's not exactly what we were hoping for, but I'm pretty sure they can make stuff everywhere. So, we're going to play the king because we want to play the queen of clubs.
and they played low, so there we go. So we're going to play the Queen of Clubs. And we're going to play another club. And now they're going to have to cash the ace if they want it. Oh, wow, they did. You know, sometimes on these games you just think, like, they know what the other person has. And a lot of times they do. I mean, like, this game right here, I think they, you know... I mean, how would he know to cash the ace? It's just strange. Well, now at least we have an entry to our hand, but it might be too little too late. See what happens. So it looks like we're probably going to make one. And they blocked the suit, which is uh, kind of what we needed. Um, probably could have made more in clubs. We got, uh, you know, two diamond losers, a club loser, a heart loser, and a spade loser. Let's see, two diamonds, a club, a heart, and a spade. So that's still only making a 90. So we didn't do so bad. And they never really got the understanding that we had all these club cards. So, in match points, you know, you always just want to go plus. So, we did. And there we go. For a plus 90. And it looks like they're going to lose a diamond, a club, um, a spade, a couple hearts. So, we did okay. You know, a lot of the thing about um, playing a no-trump is the preemptive value of a no-trump. Okay, so we have a nine count, and we're second seat red, and we kind of like our hand, and we have a really good spade. So this is like a total textbook three spade bid. You know, like, partner, if you got a little something, let's go. If you don't have anything, I'm happy for you to pass. But we also preempt because... You know, it makes it harder on the opponents. Like, your job as a bridge player is to make your opponent's life as difficult as possible. If the opponents are happy, you have not done your job. You know, if you have to get them to the three level, get them to the three level. Even if they make it, you have to push them. You have to make them uncomfortable. You know, like, the best bridge players, it's not just that you're uncomfortable because you're playing against them and they're intimidating it's uncomfortable because they're making you uncomfortable through their bids and their plays. Not through their attitude, because the best bridge players are the nicest people in the world. So, just so you know, you're not unhappy because they're intimidating you. You're unhappy because they're putting pressure on you, which is their job. You know, like, everybody's job out there is to make the opponents as uncomfortable as possible. So let's see what kind of tricks I'm taking. So I've got one club loser. And I'm not going to play the bottom one because it's just something I never do. I've got one club, one spade, one heart, and one diamond. If the spades come in, I mean something good might happen and I might be able to pitch my diamond or... You know, pitch my heart. So he led an unsupported ace. Or she led, actually. She led an unsupported ace, and she doesn't know what to do. So he played the eight. 
We're going to play the six because we just don't ever play the lowest one. And they led the ace of spades, which is pretty good news for us. So that's seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the truth is, what's going to happen here is we're going to run a bunch of tricks. And we're probably going to lead up to our heart. And if that's on, we'll get to pitch our diamond. And if it's not on, then we hope for the clubs to break to pitch our diamond. Now, so I'm making their lives very uncomfortable right now. You know, like I'm playing out a bunch of trumps and I'm going to play all but one trump out because I just have one real loser I got to get rid of. So, he pitched a club, which is pretty good news. He pitched another diamond. So, he pitched another one, so that's four, five, six, seven, so hold on, so we see four clubs and the dummy to begin with, and I had three, that's seven, eight, nine, he's played ten, eleven, so now we know they're going to break, right? So now, the truth is, we can play our last spade because we know clubs are going to break. He's played three, he's played one, I started with four, and I had three. So we'll just play our last one. Because we assume they're going to fly with what they're supposed to fly with. And he played another one. And so did he, so here we go. We're going to make their lives as difficult as possible. They don't know how many diamonds I have, how many hearts I have. Well, like I said, as stated earlier, like your life is to make their life as difficult as possible. So I'm going to plan on overtaking my diamond. And here we go. Uh, might not be so bad. There we go. And it looks like our four is going to be a winner. See, that's why you have to count. That's why you go through your options. That's why you make a plan. Um, anyway, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.